All right, my name is Prince Junipritz. I work at Baba. Uh, you may know me as Sikashu on Twitter, on GitHub. I am a procrastinated Rails contributor. And now I'm on to 34 now. So I'm going to talk about some secrets in active support, some stuff that you might not know about. Uh, just to be sure, uh, I'm talking about the active support version 4, which is the latest version. So if you use like 3.2, it might not work. And since we don't have much time, I'm going to talk about the core extension stuff only. So first, let's talk about string. So I can support at the method called string inquiry, which makes you able to inquire a string. So as it, in this example, you can say, uh, you said today is Saturday, and today you call today an inquiry, and then you can ask if today is Saturday. You say yes. Uh, it just matched the method name to the string. Next up is a string of squish. This is very useful when you have some like multi-line SQL like this, which does which wouldn't look pretty in your log file. So if you use squish, it becoming one line. Squish it up. The next thing is strict here dog. Uh, normally, yeah, you have multi-line string. You use here dog, uh, but then in your here dog, you're gonna have like indentation because pretty much you want to you. You want your code to look good. So, and it gets messy when you have like so many levels of indentation, you have so many space within there. So, if you, uh, I saw someone actually doing this to like mitigate that problem, don't do it, just use script here though, it does it for you. You can see that it's actually keeping the, the uh, one level indentation for you as well. I think this is some new stuff. You can call uh, two day, two day time, two time to actually convert the string into the day, day time and time object. Next up is a hash. Uh, there's a hash transform keys which you can pass in a block and then it will convert all the keys into, well, you can do stuff with the keys. So in case like, you have to pass this hash to the uh, some weird API that requires all the keys to be capitalized. You can have your original hashing symbol and then convert it later. Uh, next is object. This is going to be a last stuff. Uh, Object.in. This is very useful for readability. So for this one, I have example code. Uh, normally, in Ruby, you would write like, yeah, starting Pokemons include current Pokemon. But with this, you can rewrite it as this. Uh, so, you, so you're asking the, the object if it's in the, the array, and it actually reads better. Uh, next thing is object of presence. Uh, so this method is actually going to return itself if it's not nil. This is actually useful. So you can actually shame this method without having to like check if it's presence. Then, because you you know you cannot chain an empty string by using the uh, pipe pipe thing or yeah. Uh, so you can with presence you can rewrite this into this. Uh, and that's the last thing I have. Uh, there are lots of stuff on guys at Ruby on Rails that actually support core extension guys. So you, I think you should go there and look it up. There are a lot of awesome stuff that active support has it for you and like so you don't have to reinvent the wheel by doing some crazy stuff in your code. Right? Thanks. That's all I have.